whole paperless process, we believe, is, is going to impact positively on our caring at the ports. And it is basically going to reduce the time spent in the ports uh, to take your cargo away. Currently, uh, what happens is that after the valuation report has been issued by customs to our claim and forwarding agents, they have to go through the process of declaring uh, in the GCNet system to indicate that they are ready uh, to take their cargo from the port. And when they do that, normally they do that on the GCNet in their offices or wherever they have access to GCNet. And when they do that, eventually they have to print uh, this declaration and, and go to a compliance officer so that that process will also be done. And when they are done with that, then they go to the shipping line. And when they go to the shipping line with the printed declaration, they also have to go through um, an assessment system where the lines will come up with their bills by charging them administrative charges and all other charges. And then they have to make payments. They queue to make payments uh, at the shipping line offices. When they are done with that, then the release uh, is given by the shipping line into the GCNS system. And then all the terminal operators who have access to the GCNS system have access to the release of the cargo or the container. Then the claim and forwarding agent would have to once again walk physically to the various terminal where they are to pick their cargo. And then they come there, uh, the terminals will also assess the um, delivery order given by the shipping lines in the GCNS system. And then they would have to uh, also go through the process of doing their billing. Invoice is generated in all of this. The agent is physically on the premise, is queuing to have his or her turn. And then the billing is done. The, we, we, we have uh, the banks on, uh, on the various terminals. Then the, the billing is done. The bank, the, the agent has to go to the bank and make the payment. And, and then all that comes with uh, some kind of queue. If you take the GPHA terminals, we have Golden Jubilee, we have River Terminal, we have uh, the Transit Terminal. And we have a place for billing for all the three terminals. And we refer to that place as the Revenue Center. And what the agent have to do is that they have to go physically to the revenue center, the queue, and then there's so much uh, delays for, for them to queue and make payments before they, they deposit for the following day to take the cargo. And then the following day, they go to the terminal and then they go through the process of uh, getting the customs examination officer to come and open the container examine the, the, the terminal on stuff, if, if it is full or stuffing, uh, if it is going on door to door, where they are taking the cargo in the container and the customs is still ready to do a level of examination, we are able to bring whatever they ask us to bring out. And then the customs examination officer will do the examination, go back to his or her office, release the cargo in the system, and then it, they do that, the remarks in the custom system and as well as the GCNS system. Then the terminal operator will now have access to the delivery allowed by customs in the GCNS system. And then we, the terminal, based on that, is also able to issue way bill for the client to take the cargo out. Now when you are going out of the terminal, then we have the customs preventing also doing their final check. Uh, sometimes you have the national security also coming into the process to do their own checks. And then obviously you have the terminal security. If you take um, GPHA, 
you have the GPHS security also doing their final checks before the cargo can leave the terminal. And in all of this, there are delays. Now, what the paperless is bringing on board is the fact that basically um, customs is, is going to have a risk engine that they are going to uh, profile all the consignees to the extent that uh, those who are very compliant eventually will, will not be uh, having their containers or cargo physically examined. And so in good time, the delivery allowed will be given to those uh, consignees. And for that matter, uh, when they pay and they come to the terminal, it is just for us to make the boxes available and then we can issue the way bill for, for them to leave the terminal. Now, those who find themselves not very compliant, then uh, they will go to the channel of uh, examination, inspection. Again, if you listen to the Commissioner General, he said that we are also looking at joint um, inspection. And so if, if you happen to be part, to go to the channel of inspection, what is going to happen is that all the agencies who are interested in that container or cargo, as in inspecting that cargo, will, will be on one platform. The terminals will also interface with it, and they will know when the group has scheduled to come and do the inspection. Once the time is near here, the terminal will make the container or the cargo available for the group to come and inspect. And we are told the group will be led by customs, and basically majority of the uh, cargoes to be inspected will be done by um, Ghana Standard Authority, and if there are other things that are of interest to Food and Drugs Authority, they will be there to also uh, do the inspection. And then if need be, they take uh, the samples. So basically, this, this is the process. Now let me highlight the major things that are coming to improve upon the system. One of the major improvements in the system is going to be the uh, electronic payments. From, right from the shipping line through uh, customs to the terminals, we are all uh, going to uh, be interfacing with this uh, electronic payment system. Currently, at the terminals, we are not doing so. Customs have uh, a system where you know they do that and then you pay at EcoBank and then the GC. But currently, we are all supposed with the paperless implementation, we are all supposed to do this electronically. So if I take our terminal, the revenue center is no more going to be there. You are going to, uh, the agent is going to make a request on the GCNN system, indicating when uh, you or she wants to take delivery of the cargo. And then that system, GCNN system, is interfacing with our billing system. So immediately the request is done, the bill is generated automatically. And then once it is, uh, the invoice is generated, it is going to send it back to the GCNet system. And then once the client goes to that system, the client will be able to see our invoice. And at the same time, this invoice is transmitted to the banks. And this is going to be done on the trading hub, where we have almost all the banks in there. And then you can pay at any bank, you can pay online. And so we are interfacing our system with the West Blue system at this point. And then you can pay online, mobile money, whatever. And then, uh, once that payment is done to our special account, the feedback is brought back to us on the GCNet 
and then we can also assess that payment has been done. Once the terminal uh, assess that payment has been done, we will schedule you according to the day that the client has indicated. We schedule you and then you come the next day. You come physically to the terminal at this point. When you come to the terminal, uh, the terminal operator, we are going to have handheld because formally the, the agent would have to come with the deal, the declaration copy, our invoice copy, and then the, the shipping line uh, release copy. Now pay hands, so you are going to walk in, pay hands, and then you come to the terminal, we have a device for our foreman who will be able to assess if you give us our payment receipt number and your bill of lading number, we will be able to assess that, yes, we have scheduled you to come for your box today. And then we will uh, just get you to take the way bill because uh, have in mind that the vice president and the team has approved that we can have the way bill, the two paper or documents that we are going to have uh, for the paperless is the original bill of lading and then the way bill. So then the terminal issues the way bill for you and then you are able to go. You go out, remember I said earlier that if you have to go out, you have to go through preventive. Now no, after we've issued the way bill for you, you're going to go out, preventive will not do their normal physical check again at the gate. Uh, those of you who are very much abreast with going to the terminal, for example, you realize that we used to have about uh, two, three security checkpoints before you exit the terminal. Now it's been reduced to just one at the gate. And that one security personnel is going to have a device that they can authenticate or verify the way they with, and then you are able to um, move out. Uh, let me take this opportunity to also tell you about uh, a number of other improvements that we, we are doing at the terminal level as part of uh, the paperless. In, in, in the current process, it is whilst you, you are going through the dividing and customs release and all that before you have to go for a tow for your truck to be able to enter. Now we are doing it such that you, you will not go in the process. The toll payment will be done earlier, and so once we, we are ready for you, you just come in with your, your truck. And then uh, there is this issue of van also, um, vehicle appointment notice along the chain. That is also going up because once we have scheduled you to come in, you don't need to go within the process back to queue at our security front end and take uh, the vehicle appointment notice. So this is also uh, going to reduce the time that uh, we are going to spend with the uh, process. And so all things being equal, if, if we have uh, our importers being compliant to the extent that the numbers that we physically examined is going to reduce drastically, then obviously we are going to save a lot of time and then other things that were um, impeding upon facilitating the clearance will uh, go away and uh, hopefully come 1st of September uh, our clients will be very happy because we would have saved time and uh, they could sit in the comfort of their offices make requests, make payments so that we can deliver their containers to them.